hello first of all i welcome all of you to my youtube channel today i'm going to do a new assignment for you the name of this assignment is exp 22 word chapter 3 h e oakley 1.3 here we are going to look at the first of all we will look at the project description you are working with oakley university to prepare an executive summary of the university economic impact on the community and state the best way to uh, present some of the data analysis will be through tables which you will develop you will send an executive summary along with a cover letter to communicate uh, to community and university leaders using word mail march feature for the task so this is our project description this assignment is consist of almost 28 points uh, um, but here I am going to solve some points of this assignment if you want me to solve complete assignment for you then you can contact me on my whatsapp or my email address given below in the description box I am professional I can do this assignment excel word powerpoint assess uh, math stat business math finance accounting writing technical writing all these assignment for you so here first of all it is saying start word download and open the file name ex exp 22 word chapter 3 hoe oakley creator has automatically added your last name so here this is the file student last name will be at the start of this assignment this assignment consists of five pages so let's move to next step in step number two in step number two it is saying ensure that non-printing characters are displayed move to the last page of the document and type the following beginning in the first cell of the blank row at the bottom of the table 501 real estate companies land 348999342 so you have to do this uh, in step number two that is worth of two marks first of all it is saying ensure that non-printing characters are displayed for this uh, we will move to the uh, move to the file and for displaying non printing characters this is home tab in the paragraph this is show and hide so here you can show and hide the non printing characters next it is saying move to the last page of the document and type the following information in the blank so here first we will move to the end of the document this is end of the document and here as you can see this last last row is empty in the first row it is saying 501 so here we are going to type 501 in next it is saying real estate company so here i am just going to copy this and after copying here i am just going to paste it make sure you use key text only in the paste option and next is the land so here i am going to type land and at the end it is saying 348993342 so here i am going to copy this and here i will just paste using key text only so we have completed step number two let's move to step number three before starting step number three i am professional if you want me to do this assignment or do this complete course for you then i can do this for you at a reasonable price it is saying place the insertion point at the end of the document and it draw a table approximately six inches wide and four inches tall next it is saying draw one vertical grid line at approximately two inches from left to create two columns draw three horizontal grid lines line to divide the table into, into four approximately even space row of about one, e one, in one inch each. Rows do not have to be precisely spaced as you will distribute them later. So it is saying place the insertion point at the end of the document. So this is the end of the document and it is saying draw a table that is four inches wide and uh, six uh, draw a table that is six inches wide and four inches tall so for this we will go to insert in table we will select draw table we will draw table that will be six inches wide here it is saying 
wide 6 inches and tall it should be 4 inches so from here in the layout in the cell size we will change it next it is saying draw one vertical grid line at approximately 2 inches so here we will again go to draw and here at 2 inches uh, here we will draw a line uh, draw vertical uh, about 2 inches from the left of the column so here it is saying 2 inches so 1 and 2 inches and next it is saying draw 3 horizontal grid line divide the table into 4 so here we will just draw the 4 lines first second third sorry and is the one two three sorry and just three lines we have to draw three lines and rows uh, must at a space of one inches so these must be spaced as table of one inches apart so here i will click here and make sure it is 0 0.79 so it must be one inch secondly it should be one inch and third it should also be one inch i have drawn roughly so i will put them it is 1.6 so i will make it to one these four are done next we will move to step number four but before starting step number four i am professional if you want me to do this assignment or do this complete course for you then you can contact me on my whatsapp or my email address given below in the description box it is saying merge both cells in row one of table two so that the rows include only one column ensure that insertion point is located in first row and uh, type table two impact sources ensure that the space proceeds and follows the hyphen hyphen and do not type the period press tab and complete the table as shown here so here first of all it is saying in first table uh, it is saying include one cable uh, merge so here first row we should we will select column one and column two we will select merge and next it is saying type table two table two impact sources so here i am going to type table two impact sources it is done now next uh, impact sources and uh, then it is saying here we should complete this so here for this i am going to just copy it and paste by making sure you will select keep text only similarly in the second column it is saying by keep text only make sure here is a here is line break so you will just make this line break next is other expenditure so you are going to copy it and here you will keep text only and next one non salary expenditure as you can copy as you copy here after end its line break so here you will just finish this last break keep text only here is the mark of lines uh, line break so you will press backspace and do this and next it is saying capital investment you are going to copy it and here you will paste it and at the end it is saying new construction expenditure you are going to copy it and here you will paste it and again you will just finish the uh, line break so we have completed step number four next we will move to step number three 
before starting step number five i am professional if you want me to do this assignment or do this complete course for you then i can do it at a reasonable price for you you can contact me on my whatsapp or my email address given below in the description box it is saying delete the category column in table one delete the entire column not only the text within insert a row above the first row in the table one in the first row in the first cell of the row one of table one type table one top industry sector do not type any period so here it is saying just delete category column so this is category column first we are going to select this category column then in layout tab we will select delete delete column so this column is deleted next it is saying insert a row above the first row so here we will click in the first row and here on the layout we will select insert above this will insert a row above that and next it is saying type table one top industry sector do not type period so here i am just going to i have copied that and here i am going to paste it but make sure that you have removed the period at the end so we have completed step number five next we will move to step number six but before sp starting step number six i am professional if you want me to do this assignment or do this complete course for you then you can contact me on my whatsapp or my email address given below in the description box it is saying in table one insert a row between the row for sector 354 and row for sector 589 type in row so here 354 and 589 you will click in any one of the cell if you click the 589 cell then you will select insert above if you click in 354 you will select click below so here i will select insert above so one uh, row is up inserted above this here i am just going to copy it and here i will just paste it make sure you will select keep text only similarly for here real estate retail interest paste keep text only next one is this one copy and here you will select paste keep text only so this one is done now next in in step number seven it is saying in table two insert a blank row below row one so here in here we have to insert a blank row below row one so here we will go to layout we will select sorry we will select insert below so this their row will be in uh, row will be inserted next it is saying check in step number eight it is saying uh, check spelling in the document the campus name is misspelled ignore that grammatical and this name is spelled correctly so we do not need to change the campus name just things are we need to change for this this is home tab we will go to review tab here we will select spelling and grammar so here spellings are correct only two grammatical mistakes so we will correct them so this one is done now so this assignment is almost consist of uh, 28 points i have solved first eight points for you if you want me to solve rest of rest of this assignment for you then you can contact me on my whatsapp or my email address given below in the description box i will solve out this assignment for you thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel goodbye